we are going to be producing the Alby Shore Life Story. So hold on to your, hold on to your britches, and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. <laughs> Hey you guys, let's talk. Albie Shaw, sure. you guys know Albie Shaw. Sure. If you don't know who he is, he's an R&B singer from the 80s. He's known for this song called Night and Day. It goes like this. I can tell you how I feel about you night and day, night and day. <laughs> That's all I know. But anywho, check out that video. It is the funniest. You will laugh. His facial expression is hilarious. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, if you're having a bad day, just look at that video. Not even a bad day. You're just going to laugh. You're going to laugh your butt off. And I'm surprised during the shooting, no one told him to stop with all these facial expressions. No one told him to relax his face. It is funny. You hear me? Funny. But let's move on. So I'll be sure. Oh, by the way, he is also Quincy. Quincy, you know Quincy, the one that Diddy adopted. I'm not sure if he adopted him or not, but the one that Diddy is playing daddy to. Um, yeah, he's that's um that's Kim's Porter's son with I'll be sure. He also wrote and produced the song Forever My Lady. You know, Joe see that song, Forever My Lady. And then in the song, there's a part where he's like, so you're having my baby, and it means so much to me. Well, guess what? She was pregnant with Quincy at the time. So that song was dedicated to her. So sweet, right? Oh, my goodness. Beautiful song. Classic. So I'll be sure is suggesting that Diddy played a role in his coma in 2022. I don't know if you guys know, but I'll be sure was in a coma in 2022. So he is suggesting that Diddy played a role so he says he's working on a film project that will tell his life story and in the same breath he said the public will finally get a chance to see how he really ended up in a coma in 2022 in 2022 he out of nowhere just fell sick and he fell in a coma for three months. This was last summer, 2022. Oh my goodness. My goodness. They say it was a miracle that he woke up from that coma. And they never said what, what was the cause. But now he is suggesting. He is implying. He is alluding <laughs> that Diddy has a role in that coma. My goodness. Diddy... My goodness, did he try to kill everybody? Diddy is a monster. This guy needs to go down, okay? I don't need any. You know how people be like, oh, you got to wait till he pr he's proven guilty? No, 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 no. In Diddy's case, Diddy is guilty. He needs to be proven innocent. That's it. There's no, oh, he's innocent until proven guilty. No. In Diddy's case, Diddy is guilty until proven innocent. Because that guy, that Diddy... M word a lot of people, a lot of people, allegedly. I have to say allegedly because Diddy, you cannot sue me, okay? I have no money for you, buddy. No money for you, Diddy. I have no money. I have no money for you, Diddy. So please don't come my way. <laughs> they say he's not a billionaire. Then again, it's not shocking. Come on, these people, fake lies, fake life, fake everything, okay? They're not as rich as they portray. The real billionaires don't have to say they are billionaires. They don't even talk about it. It's only in hip-hop where you see these clowns want to put it out there in articles that they are billionaires. B b BS, okay? BS. Oh, anyway, let's get back on track. <laughs> I have a lot of thoughts, so therefore, yeah. Um. So yeah. So I'll, I'll be sure it's suggesting that there is a Diddy tie, and we will find out in the film eventually. So that's a good thing. 
And I'm gonna play some clips for you guys. And oh yeah, he said he is so happy that uh, his son Quincy was not at Diddy's house when the raids went down. So yeah, so check these clips out, you guys. And that's all I have to say. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. <laughs> And he's actually really good at making decisions. I'm just glad that he wasn't there when all of the hoopla jumped off. Um, I happened to be on an airplane and seeing some of the news. And uh, just the entire situation is unfortunate. I don't speak about another man's business. All I know is that I'm working on the life story as we speak. And the way I got to be in, in a coma, stay tuned.